A man with no criminal history has been kidnapped from a Smithfield home and tortured for six days at a Belmore property. As soon as police worked out where he was, heavily armed officers were deployed using flash grenades before storming in. An alleged kidnapper blissfully unaware, he's about to be captured. A white four-wheel drive pulls in, then a black one. Tactical officers spill onto the road, guns raised. Pinning their target to the ground while pulling a second man from a car. The two men cornered on Chelmsford Avenue, allegedly part of a gang who held 26-year-old Peter Vuong captive at this nearby house on Canterbury Road at Belmore for the past six days. In a top-secret mission, officers used flash grenades to storm the hostage house yesterday afternoon. Rescuing the victim and arresting this 19-year-old. Police allege Wong was tortured by his captors, who placed a gun in his mouth at times and filmed him begging for help. He'd been bound, tied up, had his face covered, sustained uh, numerous injuries, facial injuries, and had his teeth forcibly removed. The kidnappers demanding a ransom from his associates. We set price five mil. If you can't meet our requirements, we cut your boy up bit by bit until you give us what we want. They sent on an encrypted device. Want his body in pieces? Get the five mil ready. And you have 24 hours to cough up something nice. We waiting, time's ticking. Detectives investigating if the gang had the right target. He's not known to police. He has very minor traffic offences from several years ago. Last Thursday, the small business owner was ripped from his bed in front of his girlfriend inside this Smithfield home, dragged down the stairs and thrown over a gate by half a dozen men armed with a sledgehammer and a gun before they bundled him into a car. His distressed partner and her family were taken into police protection as forensics and detectives searched the Brennan Street property for clues. About a week before the kidnapping, the victim was also attacked here at his property but managed to get away. Police were called and the family then installed bright lights around their home, clearly worried that something like this would happen again. All up, police arrested six men, one man accused of being a police lookout, released on bail at Bankstown Court this afternoon. Some horrific allegations were heard in court today. Um, yeah, nothing horrific on behalf of my client. Thankfully, he was given bail today and um, he'll have his time to prove his innocence in due course. Police investigating the group's links to organised crime while Vuong remains in a stable condition. Our senior crime editor Emma Partridge is with me in the studio. Emma, you were at the scene in Smithfield shortly after the kidnapping last week but couldn't report the details then. That's right, Pete. We didn't report the details for safety reasons and while police were trying to figure out where the victim was. The Robbery and Serious Crime Squad and Fairfield Police did a remarkable job monitoring the gang's communications as they made demands from Wong's associates, then surveilled them after picking up $150,000 from a Bonnie Rig park. This follows a number of other kidnappings in southwestern Sydney, but this might be a case of mistaken identity. Court documents reveal the alleged kidnappers yelled, where is the man with the arm tats? And P Peter Vuong has no tattoos. All right, Emma, thank you. For breaking news, turn to Peter Overton, nightly at six.